3 a.m. Now I get them from Mark Davis at 3 a.m. I want to thank you for this opportunity from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank you, Cindy, my wife, my three sons, for supporting me uh, in going after this opportunity. And it takes a family effort, I think, to be all in on something like this. I'd also really like to thank all of the Raider players that are here today. Uh, I saw Charles Woodson. Brady fumbled that ball. <laughs> Tim Brown, Howie Long, Russell Merrill, Eric Gallon, Jerry Rice, Jim Otto, Ted Hendricks. Uh, it's, it's about the people for me. And that's a big reason that I'm here today. Obviously, this is very emotional for me. I never wanted to leave the Raiders. I never thought I'd be back. But here I am, and I'm ready to get to work. And I just want to say that there's really uh, four major reasons that I am here to coach you today. And number one, I love football. I love the players that play it. I love the preparation. I love the journey. love football. And I love the city of Oakland. I have a son here. Um, some of my great memories in life are in Oakland. And I want to give them two of the best years of football that I can possibly help deliver. And I love the Raiders. The brand is global. Everywhere I went as a Monday Night Football analyst, the Raider Nation would come out of the ground. I love the Raiders. And most of all, I love to win. And I'm going to do everything I can. No guarantees, no promises, but I want to win. I look forward to working with Reggie and his staff. We've got a lot of work to do. We've hired three coordinators already. Paul Gunther from the Cincinnati Bengals is official. Great addition to our football team. Rich Passaccia will be our special teams coordinator from the Dallas Cowboys. And Greg Olson will be our offensive coordinator coming over from the LA Rams. Uh, so I can't wait to get started. And it's an emotional time for me, but I'll answer any questions I can. Thank you. Okay, media, uh, please raise your hand and find a microphone on the sides here. Uh, when you get to ask a question, please stand up and state your name and affiliation. John, Jerry McDonald, Bay Area News Group. Can you sort of take us through the process of when this really got serious and to where you are right now? I don't know, Jerry. Um, Mark and I have been friends a long time. I think over the last six, seven years, we have talked about the Raiders, um, not necessarily a, a becoming a coach, but maybe ways that we could improve the Raiders or my vision, how I thought I could help him. But uh, Mark came to me a few weeks ago and asked me if I, a couple weeks ago, asked me if I had any, had any intentions of coaching. And um, with the support of my family, I, I said, yes, I do. And it's a mysterious way that uh, it all came together. But here I am, Jerry. I really don't have a solid explanation other than that. John, I'm sure that you've had offers pretty much every year to be on Zach on the sidelines since you left them in Tampa Bay. Why now? Why, why was the timing right this year? Why was it different? I just, I just in my heart, I feel this is the thing to do. This is what I want to do. This is the organization that I want to be a part of. And I'm all in. I only live one time. This is something that I feel deeply, strongly about. And um, I'm going to do everything I can to hire a great coaching staff and put the Raiders back on track. John, uh, Vern Glenn, KPIX TV. Once you made that decision, from that point on, were you just diagramming plays in your head? Were you thinking spider two, why banana? What, 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 what were the emotions? Once you made that decision, hey, this is this is going to be it. You know, the reality is I haven't changed much at all since 1998. I really haven't. I'm not a real deep philosophical person. Um, I've always loved football. I've wanted to come back. I've prepared to come back. Uh, I'm ready to roll. I'm just ready to go. I'm at a point in my life where I need another challenge, and I know I have a lot to prove, 
and uh, I'm eager to prove that I can do it. But um, yeah, I've been thinking a lot of plays. And when I met Derek Carr this morning, I, I thought of a few more, just so you know. John Ann Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle. Um, you say you haven't changed at all, but we're all a little bit older than we were last time you were here. Uh, do you still have the maniacal energy and passion and 3.17 in the morning uh, wake up call and all of that? So far I do, yes I do. I, uh, my wife and kids I think can attest to that. Work ethic is uh, a big part I think of anyone's success and any success that I've had, I think, starts with the drive, the excitement of getting up and helping a team, helping a player improve. So uh, my schedule hasn't changed at all, Ian. Really hasn't. John, Ed Graney from Las Vegas View Journal. Um, what we've seen of you in the last week with Derek Carr is you and him with the camp many years ago. You've met him now. Uh, talk about what you've seen in his maturation development and how what you're looking forward to working with him, what you think about him now as compared to that. Well, my feelings are similar. He has a great arm talent. He's athletic. He's got natural leadership skills. He's young. He's in his prime. He's healthy now. He's, I think, been in a lot of different systems. He's played for a number of different quarterbacks. There has not been a lot of continuity around him that way. I think he's got a huge upside. I think uh, with Greg Olson and the system that we're going to put in place is going to demand a lot from him. And I think that's what's going to unlock the greatness in him. But uh, very, very excited to have him as our quarterback. Uh, John Carl Stewart from Barry. It's true. 20 years is a long time to be away from the sidelines. How has the game changed, in your opinion? Has it changed that much? And how much are you going to have to adjust from the coach who were 20 years ago? 20? I mean, I'm not that old, Carl. I mean, um, Look, what has changed is the collective bargaining agreement has changed the way we practice, the way we conduct ourselves in the offseason. Uh, obviously, the rules have changed. Player safety has now emerged as a critical part of the game. I paid very close attention to it. Um, I had a lot to prove. There's no question. I have not coached since 2008. I haven't won a game since 2008. I haven't lost any either. So. I just want to keep that in perspective. I've got to hire a great coaching staff. That's been the number one uh, criteria that I've tried to bring every place that I've been as head coach. It's about the people, it's about the staff, it's about the tempo that we establish as a coaching staff. So uh, with that said, I got a lot to prove, I know that. But the game is still uh, decided by players between the lines and we all have to adapt every year. Coach, no, no, I'm the about game investigation. Honestly, Being away from the game the last few years, what do you think are the most important things just, you've I'm learned focused. seeing things from the other side? Okay. Look, I've got to see uh, every facility in the league. I had a chance to uh, watch them practice, see how they conduct training camps. I've had a chance to learn some things and see some things that I would have never gotten to see as a coach. And uh, I've had a chance to study different offenses, different defenses. And I've had a chance to get into personnel more. So I think I'm more big picture now than I was in the past, but I still want to be very detailed in terms of how we play offense. I still want to be very involved in how we move the football. But uh, I've had some opportunities that are unique and I think beneficial as a, as a broadcaster. Hi, Rick Little with 95.7 The Game, the home of the Raiders. And this is for Reggie, too. You mentioned personnel. How much are you going to be involved in personnel decisions, or are you just going to coach? Well, we're going to work together. Uh, Reggie and I come from the same tree in Green Bay, uh, raised by Ron Wolf as young Green Bay Packers. I think we have a similar viewpoint in terms of what kind of players we're looking for. But it's got to be a collaborative effort, whether it be a salary cap decision, a free agent acquisition, who we draft, we got to work together. And I think that's the great thing about being here is we're going to be united, we're going to work hard, and we're going to assemble the best team possible. We're not always going to agree. And Reg will probably win. Look at the size of the guy. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I don't want to agree with everybody. You know, I really want to work hard, and I want to try to uh, pursue every vehicle possible to improve the Raiders.
bottom line, it's, it's a team effort. We're a team. It's, it's going to be a greater decision. Bottom line, we're going to work great together. And John, Josh, you guys with Associated Press, you talked about studying offenses over the last three years. How different will your 2018 offense be look from what you ran when you were camp out here? Well, right now it'll be different. The offense we ran in Tampa was very different than the one we ran at Oakland. You know, you see Lincoln Kennedy walking around and Tim Brown and Jerry Rice, you, you can't take everybody with you and run the same offense. You don't have Rich Cannon. You, you have to adapt your offense to what Brad Johnson's strengths are. And certainly, we're going to have to look at our roster carefully. Do we have a fullback? You know, who is the feature back? Who are the receivers? A lot of things need to be determined. And I think you have to have an offense that is adaptable, that's versatile, that can adjust to a number of different scenarios. And that's the, what we need to do is get through today, lock the doors, and get to work. John, Tim Calcom, The Athletic. Uh, the reported terms of this deal are 10 years, $100 million. Is that close to accurate? And if it is, how do you make yourself worth $100 million? I don't have a guarantee to be alive for 10 years, just so people know. Um, Mark has told me that we're not getting ownership of the team, so I'm happy to report that today. But uh, I don't really know the terms. All I know is this year I'm going to be coaching in Oakland, and next year I'm going to be coaching in Oakland, and I want to help deliver the best football team we can for the people here in Oakland. And uh, how long I stay here will be determined by how well we play. Alan Smith, NBC Sports Bay Area. With that said, um, how do you manage the expectations, you know, with that unprecedented contract they're receiving and winning, you know, not just in the future, but right now? I know there's a big bullseye on my chest, certainly. If, if people want to use that as incentive, uh, so be it. I worked for Al Davis in 1998. That was pressure. I was 34 years old. Uh, I've, I've dealt with pressure before. I, I really don't feel pressure. I, I love the excitement and the thrill of competing. And, um, you know, I can't, I can't worry about things I can't control in that regard. But I know people want to step on me and beat me, and that, that's just the way that, that this league is.